planning evacuation drills, too. Need to start running those. Good idea. I know I'll need a refresher. Just a tip. If you need to evac in deep space, you're probably not coming back. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> Maybe. What the hell was that? <sighs> I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to all this. I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one, before the initiative. Some things stick, though. Like losing the old man. How does a human soldier get to serve with Asari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry. Sent me to Thessia to serve with the Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. I know it's not the same, but I'm a good listener. I hope you're as good at being Pathfinder. I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you? An untrained Pathfinder and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. Ryder? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? The Lucinia? Checking every comm that's coming in. Nothing concrete yet. Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. <laughs> Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out, but I was there for soldiering, not romance. Does that mean fraternization is okay for Asari commandos? It'll happen, but usually only for one deployment. Asari don't usually stay with each other long term. After your 500th birthday, you learn some self-control. You were in the Alliance before you became a Huntress, right? What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo freighter when they manifested. Untrained biotic power on a starship means accidents, but we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Old history now. Your turn. Remind me why you came to Andromeda. The Prothean digs woke us up to how much we don't know, and to what humanity's next leap might be. Then Dad's career collapsed. His AI research made him too toxic. I heard. Must have changed everything for your family. We needed to start over somewhere new. Together. Or as together as we could. So, Andromeda. None of you writers ever think small, do you? What did you do while you were part of the Asari military? Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's cross-species military integration initiative. Your time defending Silva's expedition was probably more important. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in a sorry space. What was your commando unit like? Janae and I were the youngsters. Tethys was our old lady sniper. 
Kalia patched us up, and Valenza prayed between firefights. Our CEO, Nasira, led us all over the Athena Nebula and beyond. A Huntress's work is never done. Every civilization needs its defenders. And the defenders usually match their civilization. Like Asari Huntresses being adaptable as hell. Makes you wonder what our militia will look like in a hundred years. After four years with Asari Commandos, he must have some great war stories. Hmm. Uh, Nasira assassinated a Krogan warlord with a pack of playing cards once. A pack of cards? Choking hazard. Apparently. Wow. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. So how did an Asari doctor end up on the human arc? Specialist in alien anatomy, remember? That includes humans. Also, Harry insisted. Maybe he always intended to switch jobs. How did he get into medicine? My mom was a dancer on Omega. Dad was a bouncer. I'd patch him up after busy nights, discovered I had steady hands. They put every credit they earned into my education. Are they here in Helios? No. Both died in a turf war. Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. How long have you and Harry been friends? I remember when he didn't complain about arthritis. We met at a medical convention on the Citadel. He was moderating a panel on neurosurgery in low-gravity environments. His name card was crooked, but he was so damn confident I knew we'd be friends. I need to talk to you about something private. Of course. That's what I'm here for. When Dad died, he blocked off parts of Sam's memory, things he didn't want me to see. Or he thought you weren't ready for. Maybe. I found this... trigger. It unlocked a... memory fragment of Dad on the Citadel. From when the Alliance rejected his ideas about AI, and he found out Mom's illness was terminal. Why do you think your father chose this specific memory? It was where his journey to Andromeda really began. Those events started your family down a new path. Yeah. Thanks, Lexi. Feels good to talk about this. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. Gil? Gil likes to use humor as a defensive technique. He'd rather bury himself in the Nomad than tackle emotions head on. Suvi okay? She's remarkably adaptive. I'm kind of jealous. How's Liam? A handful. Every time I patch him up, he breaks something new. Liam's we can't lose attitude is commendable. But I worry how he'll react when something does go wrong. How's Cora doing? She's processing. Your father was her mentor. She expected to follow in his footsteps, but he gave the role of Pathfinder to you. Just because she trusts his judgment doesn't mean she's not confused or hurt. I'd like to check in on the non-human crew. Ask away. Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Tight-lipped about himself, though. Is Drac good? That old bastard's always good. I've never met anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. Could you look out for him, Ryder? Don't worry, Lexi. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. 
And maybe don't mention I asked? Is PB all right? She's avoiding me. Probably thinks I'll poke her with a needle if she gets too close. To be fair, you're always giving me shots. Not in the hallway. Thanks for the insight. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Not saying much. Watch it. Forget him. Let's get a game going with everyone else to hone our skills and take him out. Let's do it. Hey, Costa, want in on this? No thanks. I need my friends. I'm on the road. I'm on my duties. Terraforming, Atmo processors, gravity wells, life-destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> if we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving, and everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone, bleh. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. Plan's the same. We find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is not even worth thinking about. You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who. ...and what they're willing to take in exchange. That just sounds like you're taking advantage of people. Is it? I get people what they want, and they do want, or they wouldn't pay. Have anyone else here with you? Besides Sid? No, just me and Sid. It's always been just the two of us. No, I mean, someone special. Special? Oh. You mean like... Oh. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Who has time? What about you? Anywhere's gonna feel empty if you don't have someone to share it with. A romantic? I wasn't expecting that. Then again, the entire idea of leaving everything you know for a chance at something new is kind of romantic. Um, anyway... How did she hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Short answer? Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice. Eventually, I figured out something was going on. Something big, with creds behind it. I asked and she told me about the initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that up. You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? When you promise people golden worlds and all the get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the Exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the Initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? Thing about conning people, you always know something they don't, and that's why the con works. And if I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. 
You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Too much trouble. Oh, Rushan. Who were you talking to? Cash, Nexus Superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Ah, I like the way you think, kid. Ugh, someone somewhere shivered when I said that. Probably Tan. Damn politicians. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Where are your friends? The other Krogan. We found a place to plant our feet, make our own rules. Leaving the Nexus wasn't ideal, but we've managed. So why did you leave? Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Krogan could have made a real difference on the Nexus. Staying under those conditions would have just resulted in another mutiny. We have a much better shot at something good out here. Can't argue with that. Those remnant vaults, all those secrets. I have to go exploring in one someday. Imagine flying. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean... a god? Yes. I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd. But I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. It's good to have different voices on my team. I like that. Excellent. Oh, speaking of the team, I should update the folks back in the Nexus with the latest reports. We'll talk later. If you bothered reading it, you'd know that the Tempest is an orchestra of new tech. 
You can't just meddle with. I got this ship launch ready in record time, Kalo. I know my stuff. And you don't have a shred of respect for other people's. Kalo. Oh, Ryder. Sorry you had to hear that. What can I do for you? I couldn't help overhearing you and Gil. Sounded pretty heated. He likes redesigning things, but the ship was built this way for a reason. I wish Gil would respect that. It's nothing to concern yourself about, really. If you helped to build the Tempest, you must know plenty about her. Just about everything, by memory. It was quite the effort to get her working. The Initiative needed absolutely up-to-date technology, which we all had to coordinate, and some of it was rather tricky to acquire. Acquire? By legally and above board, of course. <clears throat> yes. Sadly, the other Pathfinder vessels were lost when the Scourge hit the Nexus. The Tempest is truly unique. You know, I haven't actually met many Solarians. Careful. Depending who you ask, we're conniving spies, genius researchers, or meddling scientists. We have to pack a lot of living into 40-odd years. Everything gets accelerated. Lines blur. I just hope we don't repeat our old mistakes out here. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Well, I can't talk about Suvi. She's sitting right there. I'm not listening. You can say whatever you like. Oh no. I'm not falling for that again. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time-lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana, to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Tackling complete strangers in the Milky Way wasn't doing it for you? I think tackling you anywhere would be fun. <gasps> Did I say that out loud? Life won't be boring with you around. I may never yawn again. Maybe you just needed more sleep. We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me, and she woke up a different person. I've slept enough. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never-been-done. 
Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned. Which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? What drew you to the remnant? Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech, it's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. You really won't tell me what you're working on? That's right. Next question. What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. A resourceful accomplice finagled my early thaw. So I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around, bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. After I found my first remnant ruin, I started, uh, borrowing shuttles. After that, I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. What does someone have to do to get you to flirt with them? Not much at all. But I get a little extra jolt when I'm matched wink for wink. So just be yourself and the flirts will flow. You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone. Nothing gets by you. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Just a friend. The one who woke me up early. But now she's not even that. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements, don't you think? A certain independence might be helpful, yeah. Exactly. I don't want anything holding me back. So, how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra. Not your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drek is, well, old. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. What about... Gil smacks of complication. Might take some unraveling. Callow and Suvi seem busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's... Oh, right, Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? She's exactly what she should be. Capable, reliable. She's a valuable part of my team. Sure, sure. That comes across, too. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's an Asari. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. up something. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. <laughs> 